I wanted to ask you, I know that you got to ride along with Ralph and sort of spend a lot of time with him when you were developing the screenplay. How did that sort of help you to prepare to direct this film? I think it had everything to do with the way I approached the movie. Because I, I had read the book, um, was working on the screenplay, but it wasn't until I was with Ralph in the Bronx, in the 4-6 precinct, and particularly around other cops, that I really realized what it is he does for a living, you know, and that um, he's in the, you know, one of the highest crime precincts in the country, undercover, you know, he's probably been in more fights than he'll ever remember. It's that guy who got drawn into this world of the paranormal and ended up working with an exorcist. To me, that's the movie, that's the story, that's the unlikely event that actually occurred in the real world that I thought was worth bringing to the big screen. Ralph, what was the most important thing that you wanted to let Scott know? Here you got this filmmaker who wants to make you know, your story into a film. What was the most important thing about your life that you wanted him to understand? Uh, basically, the, the message of faith. To me, to me, this movie isn't about the devil. This movie is about God. Uh, and the devil is how we bring God into people's lives. And it, it's not, it, it's been designed like that, whether we know it or not. And most people don't realize that God controls everything. He even controls the devil. Scott, you've obviously done a few horror films in the past. Yeah. This movie actually mixes genres, which I loved about it. That yeah. It's a cop drama with a bit of a, of a horror feel to it. Could you talk about kind of and, and balancing? Some action movie a, an there. action movie, yeah, yeah. Balancing and it's funny those, in places. <laughs> Mikhail is very funny. <laughs> That's why I put things. Joel in it. Uh, yeah, I, there was a little bit of a kitchen sink approach that I wanted mm. the movie to have because. Uh, because of the, the incredible nature of the story and of the character, I felt that a straight down the line horror film would be maybe too, um, too hard to watch, wouldn't be enough fun. And, and the fact that his police life is the stuff of fun movies, procedurals, action, right. you know, all of that. But I think most importantly for me, the most significant thing was Edgar Ramirez's character of Mendoza and bringing in a, a, an intelligent priest. In Latin American, somebody who's not typical. He has his own demons. He drinks, he smokes, he's thoughtful, you know, but he does what he does for very significant reasons. And the fact that these two people who are very unlikely friends, you know, become friends, and neither one of them could have gotten through the actual experience without the other. Somebody literally tried to break into my house last night. No! It's true. I had to call the cops and everything. I was like, if anything else happens bad yeah. tonight, I'm calling Ralph. Oh, yeah. Ralph, get over Where here. Where were you? What's going on? I was here. When he needed you. <laughs> I was bored. I wish you would have called me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about that, because Eric Bana plays you. How did you feel about him playing you and casting Eric in the role? I thought it was great. You know, I watched Eric Bana's movies right from Chopper when I saw yeah. Chopper. I didn't even know it was him. And, and then I saw him in Black Hawk Down, and I, I just thought he was a great actor. Then Munich, and when he, he says, we, we got Eric Bana that's going to play the part, I was like, that's great. You know, and he's, he's a great guy. Everybody is. All good people. Eric, and Eric, Eric uh, is, I think, at his best as an actor when he's playing these kind of big, larger-than-life characters. And, and Ralph's a larger-than-life character. I mean, and I mean that as a compliment. You know, yeah. he, there's, there's not many people as interesting as him that you'll meet in the world. And you know, Chopper, Hoot, uh, Munich. You said Nero in Star Trek. You know, these characters that Eric plays when he is able to embody a large, uh, interesting, forceful persona, he does that extraordinarily well. And he's good with accents. And, and I told him I needed him to have Ralph's Queen's accent down. And and Ralph, sometimes, sometimes Eric Bana is more Ralph Sarchi than Ralph Sarchi. <laughs> <laughs> With just the accent. Yeah. Well, you know, if, whenever he wants to switch. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure. <laughs> You're ready I, for I'm it. I'm sure he would uh, love to make that deal. Really enjoyed the movie again, guys. Thanks so Thank much for so talking much. to me. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Great seeing you. Yeah, likewise. Pleasure. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thank you.